All right, I'm going to show you with the Skyliner roof what I've done for my fix. I'm in the rear compartment and I'll show a picture of these, but I took these rail clamps or they're window clamps. Uh, they're for like screen doors and and uh, when there's anything that rides a rail, it's got a thumb screw for locking on. Uh, the front of my um, roof works, but the rear section doesn't. One side broke off. So what you want to do, so you have a nice tight roof, so you don't have all the leaks and all the other stuff that goes with it. Run your button so your, your rear is all the way closed. When you put these clamps in on the rail, you have this part of the... Um, runner this is what those cables internal cables run on and then if you reach in here you can feel the the bar that runs across the whole back when this goes in this position to the rear it actually folds down so it pulls tight on the roof so what you want to do when you go to put this clamp into place is you want to push on the corner with your fingers really hard or if you have someone on the outside who can pull and push down and once that's secured in, then you can put these clamps on and tighten these down. Now with these in place, you're not going to be able to open your roof completely all the way. So I try to use this, this center bar. You can see it. Um, which is above the heads of the, the passenger or the, the rear seat. And run my top back to about that point. You don't want to go any further because, like I said, then you're then you're probably going to pop your front rails. At least you can see with these, I put one on each side. And once they're in place, you cannot uh, try to open the rear. Um, so make sure you press your center button that it has in the closed mode that your rear is completely closed. The internal parts have to be closed as far as they can. And then eventually what I'm going to do... Um, I'll make another video when I get to the point when my front breaks that I'm going to make a system that you'll be able to manually open and close the roof with internal clips but it's going to be important to have those rear clips in place you won't be able to do that up front now one of the things is always these noise complaints people talk about so I took this uh, rubber foam which is for the windows for doors and windows it's available any of the hardware stores and I put it in the rail there's like a little clip rail thing um, and you can see I picked the the thicker version so when the roof comes and it clamps down this actually does cut down on a little bit of the noise this is supposed to pop up but it doesn't I'll figure it out later but um, here I can show you in the front. You can see when the, these tracks go in, the rail goes in, that it goes down. And this is when it secures. Um, when it goes downward, it pulls the roof tight on top. So that's the one pointer I can help you with for now. That's, And this is only if you're rear is broken but your front works um, now if your front's broken you could probably use the same rail clamp uh, how I did it except pressing like I showed pressing in the front so you get it so when it gets down in that groove that it does lock into place and it's a pretty simple real cheap fix those things are only I think I paid five dollars uh, for the pair of them all right, I hope that helps.